Good morning everyone. I'm Pastor Senyonjo Vamsue. As usual, I thank you so much for following. Whenever I wake up early in the morning to send you this prayer, I look at it as an opportunity because you know what? Many times we see people falling into pits. But when there was an opportunity to, to save them, so it is not good when I have such information to keep quiet when yet it can save you from a certain challenge or a certain point. So I want to welcome everyone whenever you share this message and then you do enjoy. Just press the, the button of share. Send it to somebody somewhere so that that person can also hear what we are saying. I want to remind you one thing which is going on, we are talking about it, is 1st of September. 1st of September, we have a special gathering at Vamsbe Church called Black God. So it is a Black God Day. What are we talking about if we say Black God? I've seen many people, when they hear Black God, they say, ooh, what's that? You know, when the whites and the Arabs came into Africa, one of the worst things they did to us was to show us that we were evil. We are the devils. So we hated, we ourselves, we hated ourselves. If you say a white God, you see a white color, you see a white angel, you see a white Jesus, you see a white what? You feel comfortable. You see a black thing, black man, you see a black God, you see a black angel, you feel that's evil. Because that's what the other oppressor told you. And the worst part of it is that you are even ready to defend the oppressor. You feel you aren't even to box me because I'm telling you that you are holy, that black is good. You want to bust out and say, no, the, the good must be an American. He must be. And sometimes you do it out of ignorance. So we are talking about black gold. That's 1st September. It's the day that we are going to undress the greatness of humanity in Africa, what we call Ubuntu. We don't care whether you are which religion. Because if you look at uh, the, our history, when the people who came from the other side came, they had an objective, taking our land, taking our minerals, and honestly, they have done it. And then, how did they do this? They found out that if they could make us uh, hate everything of ourselves, then their work will be so smooth and easy. So they made us hate our names, they made us hate our color, hate our language, hate our dresses, hate our innovation, hate our everything. So this is the state where we are that we are even ready to defend the oppressor uh, in favor, or to, to, to kill what we have in favor of what the oppressor has impacted in us. Think about it. Think about it. And now it pushes me to the level of telling you that have you ever thought of the source of your problem? If you look around your life, what you are going through, I found one man who was suffering from a certain thing. He had a problem, a complication inside his stomach. It could swell and then make a lot of gas inside there. And biologically, some of you who follow things, you know. It means that his intestine inside his stomach, he has a lot of dirtiness. He's dirty. So he needs to cleanse his system, the digestive system. But this man was only saying, you know, I have demons in my stomach. I have this and this. When I looked at him, I heard what the sound was. I told him, but this is very easy. Go, you check if it's ulcers, if it's this. You get the right treatment. He said, no. They told me it is a demon. And he was almost going to die. So we want to know what you are going through. What is the source of that problem? If it is ignorance. That's what I was talking about this beginning of this week. Hosea 4.6. Many people have perished because they lack knowledge. They don't understand things. What is the source of your suffering? I saw a certain woman who was having a lot of conflicts with the man, the husband, at their home. But yet they had a neighbor. A neighbor was all the time looking at them, taking the words, evil words from the husband to the wife. 
You know your husband has been with a certain girl. Your husband has been with a certain woman. You know your husband has sent money to her. So you know I found your husband with her. And then when she found the woman, she was saying, now, uh, if she found the man, he was telling the man, now your wife has been with the other man. Your wife received the clothes from so and so. You know your wife did this and this. They began to go through a lot of conflicts just because of a single neighbor. The moment they came together, talked about what was going on. They knew and they discovered that the neighbor was the problem. Now they joined the efforts together. They fought against the neighbor. The moment they discovered the source of their problem, they overcame the challenge. This is what is happening to many people in, in Africa and in Uganda. You suffer from losses and you don't know, is this a thing spiritual? Am I being attacked by evil, wickedness, witchcraft, demons, curses? Or it is physical? How can you have a business in a place where those people don't need those items and then you are not applying advertisement but you are saying that I'm not selling because they have bewitched me. If you need to apply physical methods then go stand and apply the physical methods. Why? Because you have uh, not stand identified the source of your problem. If it is spiritual even when you apply physical methods for hundreds of years you remain the same thing. When I read into the history of Uganda and Africa, there are things that we have to wake up. You know, Africa prays so much. We raise up their hands and call upon the God in heaven, up there in the sky. But sometimes when it's not there. And the more Africa is praying, the more we are suffering from political wars, diseases, discrimination, uh, premature deaths, and poverty. Because we don't go in reality to be realistic and objective on what is the reality, what is the real source of this. We are having education systems which do not support our strength and innovation in the minds. So the outcome, we become slaves. Even when you get papers, you move around here and there, nothing. And then nepotism goes to the highest level. Tribalism goes to the highest level. That's why you find a black person rotating into the same problem. You discriminate even your sister because of religion. Even you hate your father because of religion. Hey, I'm born again. I'm born again. Hey, I'm a Muslim. You know, I'm a Catholic. Okay, it is not bad. But let it not be the yardstick for unity or for knowledge, wisdom, or for strength and ability. It is your chance to stay wherever you are. But don't use it as a weapon against your brother. Because when we go out there in those countries, those people see us as the same person. Why are you going to the shrine to bewitch your sister? To bewitch your brother? And another poison is whenever we talk about our supremacy as black people. Our pride as black people. People think we are talking about witchcraft. You were demonized in your mind. You were demonized in your preachings and teachings. And you are demonized in your brains. That's why whenever you look and you hear about anybody talking about you and what you are. You think that's evil. That's a demon. Because they drew to you black angels. Who they call them demons. Satan is black and everything like that. So you were demonized. We are not evil. That's why we are black and we have that day called Black God. First September, we are going to be with a special special service called Black God Day. Come and we join together. I pray for everyone today. May God be with you. If you have an enemy who is attacking you because of what you are, may God fight for you. I pray for real justice between you and him. I, I pray that may God protect your children. May God protect your job. May God protect your office. May God protect your everything and your life. Father, I thank you because it's done. I'm Pastor Senyonjo Vambusbe. You can call me on 0752 -229680, as you see on the screen. Or 0782 -229680. You can also send WhatsApp messages on that MTN number. Uh, every Wednesday I'm in office, you can come and see me one-on-one. -on -one. Every Sunday at 10 a.m. we have services. And every day of this week, in the evening after you work, come in the evening and learn great things. We are located at Nansana, 
opposite Nawer Main Road. Opposite, slope down, you'll find Vambusve Church. My YouTube channel is Pastor Senyonjo Vambusve. Don't forget Black God Day and support our ministry financially on the numbers you see on the screen. I love you so much. We meet next time.